Greetings. Welcome to EDTV News Channel, the People's Channel. In this report, we have a few stories for talk about, some shootings and dropouts. Coming out of the parish of St. Andrew, St. Catherine, Westmoreland, and St. James. Stay tuned for the full reports. Blessings to all subscribers and viewers. If you're here for the first time, you can support the channel by like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. So people, we'll start off in the parish of St. Andrew, where I seen a paralegal gone down on Washington Boulevard in the parish. So we'll get into the latest police report. A seen a paralegal was shot and taken out in her car along Washington Boulevard in St. Andrew yesterday morning. The deceased has been identified as Sandra Risden of Nunes and Schofield and Company. Risden had been employed at the company for over 34 years. Reports suggest that Risden was traveling alone in a great Toyota Corolla along the roadway. When upon reaching a section of Washington Boulevard and Alden Drive, a motorcycle with two men aboard approached. The pillion rider reportedly pulled out a firearm and opened fire at Risden. A police corporal who was driving his private car and witnessed the incident gave chase. The gunman reportedly pointed his firearm at the lawman in fear of his life. The corporal pulled his service weapon and fired at the gunman while continuing the pursuit. Upon reaching the intersection of Washington Boulevard and Savannah Avenue, the pillion rider once again pointed his firearm at the lawman who aborted the chase. The assailants then escaped in the area. It is unknown if any of the gunmen were injured. Riz then was rushed to the hospital where she was pronounced job out. She was 63 years old. Very sad story, people. Now, we are moving on, people, to the parish of St. Catherine, where police cut down contract killer and hitman who goes by the name Yang Bang. So we will get into the police report. A reputed contract killer was among two men who were fatally shot during a gun battle with the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Investigation Branch, CTAC, in St. Catherine on Thursday evening, the police confirmed. Deputy Commissioner of Police DCP in charge of crime and security, Fitz Bailey, told the news media that one of the deceased is a prolific contract hitman killer known as Gang Bang. DCP Bailey said Gang Bang dropout resulted from a running gun battle which started in Spanish Town and culminated in Greater Portmore. Following the melee, two 9mm pistols were recovered he further disclosed. He said the man has been on the police radar for a long time and is known to be involved in the dropout and burial of siblings, 20-year-old Carrick Moody and 22-year-old Kenesha Moody of Grangel, Westmoreland, in December of last year. They were seen in a viral video buried in a shallow grave and were reported taken out over money gain through scamming. DCP Bailey says Gangbang was previously arrested and charged during the investigation of gang leader Eugene Wilson, but the case was dismissed by the court in 2020. Wilson was sentenced to 26 years in prison. The lama promised to provide further updates as investigation continue. Job well done by CTAC. Now, people, we are moved to the parish of Westmoreland, where a 19-year-old was brutally taken out. So we'll get into the latest report. A teenager was dropped, chopped, and dropped out at Top Road, Little London, Westmoreland, following an altercation with two men 
while visiting his sister on Thursday afternoon. He has been identified as 19-year-old Enrico Chambers, otherwise called Rico, a farmer of Broughton District in the community. Reports from the police said that about 9 a.m., Chambers was sitting on his sister's veranda when both suspects were seen walking past the house when an argument developed between all three. The suspect reportedly left after the threatening the now deceased. Laman said the men later returned, strapped with machetes in hand, and allegedly attacked Chambers, who ran in a bid to escape the injuries. However, the machete wielding men chased Chambers and inflicted several chop wounds to his upper body and area. He later collapsed under a arcade tree. The men then escaped on foot in the community. The teen was subsequently rushed to the hospital by residents where he was pronounced job out. Now, as we was making this video, the police have now confirmed that one of the suspects is presently in custody. Now, people, we are moving on. This time to the parish of St. James. Man shot in face by alleged co-workers. So we are getting into the report. A man narrowly escaped drop out on Tuesday after being shot in the face by his co-workers at Sutherland District in St. James. The victim has since been hospitalized and the police have launched a manhunt for two men one known as Sharkman and the other known as Bravo in connection with the incident. Reports reaching the news media indicate that around 10 a.m., the now injured man was picked up by another individual and they left to go to a section of the district to cut down a tree. While heading to the area, they reported to pick up another man by the roadside and all three men journeyed into the hills of Sutherland District. While in the bushes, the police said the man who was picked up last allegedly pulled out a gun and shot the complainant in the face. He attempted to fire more shots, but the gun reportedly jammed. The injured man, according to police, ran from the scene and made his way to the Amenity Hall Police Station where he filed a report before being taken to hospital. So dear avid people, please leave your comments in the comment section and tell me what to think. One aim, one God, one destiny. Walk good, talk good, live good, blessings.